All right, hello there beauties, your girl Eunice Marie here, and if you are already subscribed to my channel, welcome back, and if you are new to my channel, hello, and make sure to subscribe. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple of my favorite products to use for my kinky twists out there because I share with you guys a little bit of my natural hair journey and not really a journey I want to say but how I care for my natural hair and new things that I'm trying out and so on so on so on. So if you know me you know that my hair is in braids probably 99.9% of the time and so I like to keep my hair care very simple when it is in braids. I don't like to do too much um, with my natural hair. So we're going to start off and I'm going to share with you guys what I use to shampoo my braids. I use my Dr. Bronner's of course, you guys should already know that my Dr. Bronner's tea tree soap I use that once a month to clarify with. But throughout the weeks when I do have to wash my hair at least once a week, I usually co-wash. I love co-washing for my braids. It just gives my hair that moisture and because my hair is in braids, it's kind of harder for me to moisturize my, ha my hair. So I love the fact that co-washing does just throw that moisture into the hair so once a week I do like to co-wash with my Tresemme it's all wet my Tresemme naturals uh, looks like this I just go in and just co-wash with that at least once a week and that really helps to keep the moisture going and it keeps my hair clean as well um, and I don't get a lot of that build up or anything on my scalp and every once in a while I don't shampoo that often probably once every other week or so when I do decide to shampoo I go in with my Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo and I like this too because because my hair is in braids it needs that moisture it needs to have that moisture thrown in there and this is very very moisturizing for that so I like to use this um, as well but I use this like every other week for my braids I don't really shampoo when I have braids in my hair that much I co-wash more so because my hair needs I feel more moisture because I'm not moisturizing it every day or as much as I would if my hair was out in its natural state okay next for for my moisturizer for my everyday moisturizer or every other day jojoba oil that's all I put in my hair um I was a big big fan of coconut oil for my hair at first if you guys have been following me you guys know I stood behind coconut oil a hundred percent you couldn't change my mind coconut oil had my hair on point okay and then I tried jojoba oil and I'm like hmm coconut oil you can go over there <laughs> I fell in love with jojoba oil it does so much more for my hair and my scalp than coconut oil sorry but jojoba oil, it just does it. It keeps my hair moisturized. It gives my hair a nice sheen. It keeps my scalp feeling good. Um, and lately I've been having scalp issues, which I'll share with you guys in a moment of what I've been using for that. But I've been having a little bit of scalp issues and this helps out a lot along with what I'm about to show you guys. So jojoba oil has been my moisturizer of choice I don't use anything else because I have my hair in braids I don't want any buildup or anything so usually I'll just take a little bit of jojoba oil put it into my scalp massage it in let it sit um, same thing with shea butter I will use raw shea butter if my scalp feels a little bit dry I will use raw shea butter on my scalp and that will help um, with any like dryness that I'm having um, on my scalp so I like to use that shea butter and jojoba oil for my scalp and to keep my hair moisturized. Now for styling, like on my edges and things of that sort, um, I didn't go out and get any of my curls uh, edge control. I haven't even gone out to buy any of that. So I've just been using the regular old Manoy oil. I don't like it like that, but I didn't see any of the curls when I went and I just need something for my edges, so I got this, along with my Eco Styler and argan oil gel so these two combined I like to use for my edges and then I tie it down so as far as I keep my edges neat or you know in place a little bit that is what I use and now I'm gonna share with you guys what I use for my little scalp problem so hold on so if you guys follow me on Instagram and if you don't you should go ahead and follow me at Eunice Marie I posted a picture of me I posted a picture of, of me saying that I was creating a product for um, itchy scalp itchy scalp okay now it was like a week or so ago I got the worst itchy scalp I didn't know what was going on I was like okay I didn't put anything in my hair is my hair growing what's going on it was just itchy 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 itchy, itchy. I couldn't take it okay um 
I shampooed my hair because usually my scalp gets itchy when I don't shampoo or when I don't cleanse it. And I know with braids, you can get lazy and everything like that. So I came up with a little solution for my scalp, okay? So I was having some itchy scalp issues and it was really, really getting annoying. So I went ahead into my cabinet like the little DIYer that I am. And I put together this jojoba oil, tea tree, peppermint, scalp oil, okay? And the reason why I decided to go with tea tree is number one, tea tree is good for removing bacteria or anything on, this, on the skin. And peppermint is refreshing and the jojoba oil has the same thing. It's really good at removing bacteria and moisturizing the scalp. And I think I put a little bit of lavender oil in here just for the soothing effect of it. Um, but it helped a whole lot. So if you have an itchy scalp, girl, mix you up something like this. And um, I think I will put something like this on my Etsy shop. will be coming up pretty soon. So keep an eye out for that. But yes, um, this gave me like life. It helped a lot with my... Um, dry my scalp was just itchy it was kind of flaky I don't know what was going on you know in LA we have a lot of different weather changes and all that so I don't know so anyways that is all that I use to take care of my kinky twist I keep my hair routine really simple um, especially when it's in braids I don't like to do too much to my hair that's the reason why it's in braids but I still want to keep it moisturized I still like to keep it cleansed um, my scalp and I like to keep my hair in good condition because you still want the hair to grow that's in the braids you don't want to let all of that hard work that you did go down the drain so definitely that's all that I do I keep it really simple with those few steps throughout the week and yes if you guys have any questions about my um, kinky twist routine or um, any questions about what I talked about in the video today go ahead and leave it down below thank you so much for watching this is your girl Eunice Marie make sure to wait comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I will see you in another video bye